Very strange lighting here tonight. I'd like to open by telling you that Joanna Nealon and Ken Ingham, her husband, made it safely to California, where, according to her sister, they're having a jolly time of it. And she'll be back on the 26th, for those of you who are interested. Stars. The lovesick stars step out onto their balconies. Blow kisses to a sea of shadows. Their heartbeats quicken. They long for lovers who will whisk them away to paradise. The old meeting house, Rockingham, Vermont. Crowning meeting house hill, white, pure, majestic, bearing its dignity with grace in the late afternoon sun. Snow-swept graveyard, white, still, circling, tooth-like monuments of slate, frozen inventory of forgotten names, between which the wind forlornly whispers. November 1st, 1849, 69 years of age, Susan Billings, your legend etched on a table flat, fallen marble slab, slowly eroding the cold, ancient, merciless rain's prey. Perhaps on Judgment Day, you will rise, you will all rise, shake free your shrouds, greet the sun, meet your shadows again. Last point, the dunes of Provincetown. Sea of sand, stirless, spiraling, weaving at eternity's spindle, pock marked face of Mars, building, crumbling, sorrow fraught widow, staged to the wind's fury, having lost the strings of his heart, his alien tongue divined solely by sea serpents, by blind crabs. Arching sky, darkening blue, idle moon lost in dreams, firestorms, maelstrom of restless stars, lighting the blind, bloodless prairies, silos of frozen arrows, craters hollow, where only the sea's dead howl. Thank you very much.